the golden calf. At the foot of Mount Sinai, the covenant between God and the people of Israel had been accepted. Israel had chosen Yahweh as their only God. Israel would have no other God. Yahweh in return would make the Israelites his people and protect them from their enemies as long as they remained faithful. Israel understood the honour of being selected from all the nations of the world to be Yahweh's chosen people. When choosing them, God did not in some miraculous way change their living to higher standards. They were still a wicked people who had lately been slaves under the Egyptians. They were weak, they were depressed, they had no courage and culture. God knew it would take years to form them into a strong and valiant nation. But in spite of these and many other weaknesses, God saw good in them and he would be patient. Again, God called Moses to the holy mountain, Mount Sinai, and for 40 days and nights, without food or sleep, Moses remained talking with God. During his stay there, God wrote the Ten Commandments on two slabs of stone. They became known as the Tables of the Law. While Moses was on the mountain, though, the people below became weary waiting for his return. They wondered if he would come back at all. So they gathered around the brother of Moses, Aaron, and with great insistence they said, Come, make us a God. Make us a God who will be our leader. As for that man Moses who brought us out of the land of Egypt, we don't know what's happened to him. Make us a God. Aaron felt powerless to stop the movement. He felt peer pressure, the pressure from all around him. And yielding to their plea, he said, well, bring whatever gold you've got. And from your offerings, he made a gold calf, a golden calf. Now, they intended this image to stand for the one true God, to be a symbol of the God whom they worshipped, just as the Egyptians made so many statues of different animals to worship their gods. And so before this statue, they cried, This is our God, O Israel, who brought us out of the land of Egypt. On seeing this worship, Aaron built an altar for the calf and issued a proclamation, Tomorrow is a feast! Of the Lord. Of course, God was angry with this. The covenant had been broken. God was angry with these unfaithful Israelites. He had expressly forbidden them to make use of images in their worship. It's the commandment. God said to Moses, Go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have turned aside from the way I have pointed out to them. They have broken their side of the covenant. I will let my wrath fall upon them and consume them. Moses pleaded with God for mercy. And so God relented and spared the punishment of a complete destruction. When Moses came down from the mountain to the camp and saw the people worshipping before a golden calf, he threw down the tables of the law which God had given him and broke them. Then he knocked over the golden image and ground it into powder. Moses asked Aaron, What did these people ever do to you that you should lead them into so grave a sin as idolatry? Aaron replied, Be not angry with me. You know well enough how inclined this people is to worship idols. They insisted, they forced me, and I yielded to their desires. When Moses realised how obstinate, how pushy a people these Israelites were, and how prone they were to idolatry, he did not entirely excuse Aaron, but he understood his difficult position. Then Moses went to the gate of the camp and made a difficult decision. He cried, whoever is for the Lord, let him come to me. All the Levites... All the Levites rallied to him, and he said to them, Take your swords. 
and go up and down the camp from gate to gate and slay those who were especially guilty of idolatry, even those of your own family. About 3,000 people were slain that day. On the next day, Moses said to the people, You have committed a grave sin. I will go up to the Lord. Perhaps I will be able to make atonement for your sin. So Moses went back to the Lord and said, This people has indeed committed a grave sin in making a god of gold for themselves. Forgive their sin. If you will not, then strike me out of the book you have written. Strike me instead of them. The Lord answered, Him only who has sinned against me will I strike out of my book. Now go and lead the people where I have told you. My angel will go before you. When it is time for me to punish, I will punish them for their sin. And so the Lord God punished the people for having Aaron make the calf for them.